Welcome back to Techno Surgeon YouTube channel. So we recently went over the leak which state the all the variants which are coming and I said 4700F are going to get a core increase from 16 core to 23, 20 cores. But now that same leaker has tweeted out the host frequencies for all of the variants and all of the variants are getting 200 megahertz clock increase around the board and just 100 megahertz for i3 variant which is a bummer and there won't be any IPC increase because it will come with the same architecture as that of the previous gen it is just a refresh so yeah we need we don't see a major uplift in performance which is a bummer to see since it's 14 gen and they are just starting it as a refresh and if the next story is true we might be having a price increase because there are rumors going on right now that there might be price increase coming on for intel variants but yeah i, I the intel 14 gen series is not looking that good and it might be a power power hoax because with the more cores and a bit more frequency it will have more power draw compared to 13 gen so yeah it just looks pretty bad nonetheless and the next story it's come from germany and in there there might be a price increase because they have wccf tech also said that they they've had sources from two german drift supplier, suppliers with saying that Intel's decision was unexpected and there will be a price increase for all CPUs from that includes Alder Lake, Raptor Lake and upcoming Raptor Lake refresh so 12, 13 and 14 gen and the future CPUs also so yeah it's a bummer maybe it's because of the loss and stuff because there was some issue but it might be related to Germany as of now we still don't know about it but yeah, the price increase might go to US and everywhere else so yeah because Germany has refused the subsidiaries for for Intel's Intel foundry or something like that but yeah that's regarding the price increase it might be a bummer but yeah moving on we have some news regarding RDNA 4 and mostly RX 8900 XT and it comes from Red Gaming Tech and according to him the specs are not finalized but yeah the they are still seeing how they can modify and make the changes but the performance target is dropped down from two times to like less than two times like almost two times maybe 1.8 times the 7000 series but yeah and it won't be a completely MCM architecture because the previous rumor said 144 compute units but now it has been also dropped down to 80 worker nodes so yeah it's already like double like it is almost like 120 worker nodes and stuff like that but yeah 120 CUs but now they have drop it down so it's a bummer to see but le let's see the 60 worker GPU nodes will be there so it's technically going to be 120 CUs 120 stream processor and it will come it has a boost target of 3 gigahertz and GDDR7 and here it is ray tracing supports BVH processing and traversal in hardware so basically it will RX7 8000 series will have dedicated hardware for ray tracing i recently went over the research paper that they had published and now this turns out to be true so if you need to be updated with the leaks and stuff subscribe to the channel but yeah and along with it it might be nice because the performance target are up in the air again but they had been lower than lower the expectations from the previous two times so yeah let's just see it's close to two times also it will be nice but yeah it will have the performance power draw of 350 to 450 watts which is nice because rtx 5000 series will have crazy power draws but yeah that's it from me today what do you think about the news sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and i will meet you in the next one peace out